Good early afternoon, good people. Good early afternoon, wherever we streaming at Facebook, personal, uh, my business Facebook page, Taylor May Training for you. My FIMP group for my imperfect, non judgmental people only. Uh, YouTube, Gwen's Boy Mindset, Twitter. So, all the places we're streaming, you are now entering the no judgment zone with me, your host, Sean Taylor, discussing topics with no judgments. We scup it, discuss, excuse me, discussing topics with no judgments. I got my boy, my hope, my co-host for the day, Brandon Lampley, on with me. We finna dive into this thing. Um, before I get started, you know, just want to put a disclaimer out there. There is nothing, um, there's, there's no judgments on here, people. We're just, there's nothing scripted. We're pretty much talking off the dome. And I always tell everyone, I'm never going to speak on something that I have not experienced or gone through that would make me a liar because I have nothing to stand on. I'm not just going off of my opinion. I speak on personal experiences. If I'm speaking on something, I've lived it or been through it and got through it. That's just me, bottom line. Most people's uneducated, unknowledgeable experiences is only as great as the knowledge of the subject. So if you have no knowledge of a subject, you're just going off of just your, 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 your opinion. Uh, opinion is basically not knowledge of a subject. That's why the statement is so paramount. A man or woman's uneducated mm. or inexperienced, you know, yeah. it's only as great as their knowledge is of the subject. Knowledge. You know, you have to you have to know what you're talking about before you speak. Because if you don't, you know, you you kinda kinda set yourself up to look like an idiot. But I digress with that. So listen, we're not debating, we're not going back and forth, we're not judging that because this is no judgment zone. You say what it, say whatever you want, say whatever you feel. So we are talking about fathers today. Fathers do matter. What prompted this subject, and I was telling Brandon about it uh, on yesterday, is uh, my first daddy-daughter dance. Okay. Um, Having a daughter has been an adjustment for me, period. I mean, it just has, um, when you're so used to interacting with, with a boy, and then now you gotta, now you gotta flip that hat to a little girl. The whole dynamics change. Yeah. Everything that, how I've always talked to Jordan, interacted with Jordan, dealt with Jordan, even when it comes to the scolding of Jordan, which is my 15 year old son is going to be 16 in April. The dynamics change with my six year old daughter. It is not the same. It fails in comparison. As women are emotional, my daughter is emotional. The mood swings, the, 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 sometimes she want to speak, sometimes she don't want to speak, even with me and, or her mom. I mean, it's the dynamics of dealing with a female as a father has changed. My tone, how I speak to her, how I talk to Jordan, I'm, I can't talk like that with Giselle. It's, that's not going to go over too well. She's not going to receive it too well. If, I, if, my, if my tone rises, She's going to get in her feelings, probably cry, probably get the sad face, and then I have to kneel down to her short stature and be like, you know, baby, daddy didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry, you're not in trouble, I love you, whatever, whatever. It, the dynamics change, the dynamics change. So um, I'm learning a lot, but the daddy-daughter dance, I was just making a visual of all the men in there dancing with their daughters, playing with their daughters, laughing with their daughters. And no matter what and how society depicts the father, especially the black father, there are some dudes out there that was actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, who are yeah. active in their child's life, whether they're with that woman or not. They are making sure that their position is solidified in that child's life despite whatever the situation is with that, that the, the, the relationship is with the mother, whether they married, divorced, uh, they used to be together, but they're no longer together. 
um, the fathers, just just looking at the fathers and having a couple of conversations with them, um, we're in the same boat. We're pretty yeah. much in the same boat. Um, and then the challenges of a father, you know, uh, the father's role has been, they're pretty much almost like trying to erase it. Um, you know, I had a conversation with my brother on last night, uh, which shed some light on some things, man. Uh, there are certain things that are going on in the world that's pretty much you, it, it feels like the, the man, the father's kind of trying to be pushed out. Yeah. Um, and there are certain occurrences that's going on in the world, uh, based off the conversation I had with my brother that I wasn't privy to. And I guess I, I don't want to, let me, let me take that back. I don't say I wasn't privy to, maybe I'm not paying attention to it. Um, and now I'm seeing like you slowly study and observe and, and see the, the dynamics that are going on. Um, there is no, and I don't know where this can't make this gotta come from society. There is no, I don't understand, uh, how one parent is more valued than the other. Uh, one parent is more superior than the other. Yeah. I don't understand that. I've never seen or heard of a situation where the guy is, the father's playing games with trying to keep, and I'm sure it's, it maybe it's possibly it, it goes on, uh, if he has full control full over the child, full custody, yeah. which is, which is very extremely rare. Uh, maybe he does play games with the mother not seeing the kid. I don't know, but I haven't really heard of that that goes on. It may be, it may goes on, it may go on, but it is known. <laughs> it is known for a fact for years that that man who's no longer with that female goes through so much hell just trying to be a father to his kid. Yeah. He has to prove himself when DNA is proof enough of his role that he, he should be there, that he has rights just like you do. The system, which is flawed, Yes, yes. Mess, it's 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 beyond it, it, uh it, 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 it's so messed up it's, I can't I don't even know where to start on it you know that's how messed up the system is you got a man or woman in some black cloak who don't know me from a can of paint or don't know the next brother from a can of paint or the that brother or that brother from the can of paint and it's going to dictate how I see my kids, who's going to dictate how I spend time with my kids. Then not only dictate it, but then take money out my pocket. God forbid I lose my damn job, then they're going to suspend my license so I can't drive to get to work. They make it so difficult. Why is it so difficult for a father to be a father when he has earned that right by creating that child? That should be enough proof right there. A man should not have to jump through hoops and whistles and, I mean, I mean, and just just hoops and and do flips and cartwheels and dance on table, dance on a table just to see his kid. He should not. A man should not be deprived of his kid because of a dollar. Yep. There are billions of women who put price tags on their kid's head because of a dollar when a child does not have concept of money. So that does not that now the money part. Let's be honest. Where is that coming from? Is that child saying, hey, mom, dad need to send us some money? They ain't even got concept of money. So where is this whole money thing? This I like to call it the money. It's a, a money grab. Where where is this coming from? We all know the answers to this. We 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 do, we do. Why is the father's role so stepped on? And the mother's role is through 
the sky, I mean, just through the clouds. And the Father is nothing. Why? Because they are trying to, society is really trying to push the man out. Yeah. In every facet, in every capacity, in every area. It's trying to just rule the man out. Now, I don't want to go biblical on this. But some of you, some people may believe in God. Some people may believe in the Bible. Some people may believe in the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. That that Antichrist is somebody who we don't even think it is, which is a big reason of why things are happening and occurrences are falling into place right now as of today. Right now today, and some people don't believe this, but we're really living in the last chapter of that Bible, if we want to go on biblical terms, we're pretty much living in the book of Revelations based off all the freaking ridiculous, unbelievable, unfathomable nonsense that's going on right now today. Mm -hmm. I would put this at the book of Revelations. It ain't in no other book. It's not Ezekiel, Hosea, Psalms, Proverbs, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Matthew, Mark, Luke. It's not in none of those books. Yeah. Right now, today, March 1st, 2022, we are in the book of Revelations, but under all the, look at all the ridiculous nonsense that we didn't even see 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 30 years ago, that's going on right now in 2022. The world is as backwards. The mindsets is as backwards. The child and what's needed for the child, it doesn't even matter. What matters more is what the mother thinks opposed to how the child thinks and feels. A mother will move a child all the way across another country and then complain that they're not getting enough money when this man has to travel to see his kid, stay in hotels, rent cars, pay child support, and then she wants more money when if he was in the same place, more money possibly could come to you, but you're too dumb to realize because are you putting the needs of the child first or the child's needs, I mean, or your needs first? When a mother moves out of state and purposely makes it inconvenience for that father, that's not the needs of the child. That's you. Yep. You are the deadbeat. You are the selfish parent. I will let any woman know in their face you doing that nonsense, you selfish as hell. Yep. B, I'll let you go. I'll let you go with the rest. Man, well, everything that you just just eloquently broke down is why the birth rate and the marriage rate is dropping. And it's not going to get better. The laws. Mm-hmm. The laws right. are awful. And let's be honest. I can't I, not, not necessarily blame women for playing on the laws because if I was a woman, I'd probably be doing the exact same thing. So I can't necessarily right. judge them, blame the laws. Right. But with that being said, I don't have to play the game with them either. Right. This this right. This, this this is the type of stuff that gives me cause to pause on being a father and a husband. Not because I don't like children and not because I wouldn't want to settle down. It's because of the laws. It's because of diminish the man, uplift the woman. And and men, men, and men have been a big part of helping them do that. We, we've done it to ourselves. Shoot, and it's gotten so bad now to us, Sean. Um, women have been uplifted so much too. Now you got the guy, the section of guys who um they um what's the best way to say uh transition into women now. Uh but mm. more more of that's more of that's happening because you see the privilege that they get, you know, mm. Uh, mm. but it, it's, it's, it's never been about the child. It's never been about doing the right thing for the woman per se, even in the courts, when it comes to divorce, family court or any of that, Sean, it has never been about the child and it has never been about the woman. It has always been about extracting resources from the man. Mm-hmm. Absolutely freaking lootly. And because yeah. if they if it was about the women and the children, they wouldn't make money off the money that you give them before they gave it to them. Mm-hmm. And they do. They invest your money like 10, 15 times, make that money, and then whatever you gave, give to them and keep the rest. That's how they're making their money. The uh, divorce industry is a billion dollar industry. 
divorce lawyers making out like a bandit. You know, I've seen hey, where ladies say in consultation, Sean, that they tell lawyers tell them, say, hey, just say he hit you and we can get you that house. Straight up. You know, man, I I was having a conversation with my brother, just venting. And I just outright told him, I said, man, I'm so disgusted with this world, dude. I said, man, I'm disgusted. I'm I'm very I'm I said, man, I'm so disgusted, man. What I see. Uh, the things that men go through and nobody gives a damn about it. I said, I'm very, very disgusted. Um, and I'm just going to be honest with you. When I tell y'all I'm schooling the hell out of my son, oh, I'm, you gotta pu- get I'm, put, I'm putting the fear. I'm putting the fear. Don't you have no kid with nobody that's not your W-I-F-E. Don't you do it. Mm-mm. Don't you, son, I'm telling you, if you have a child out of wedlock with any woman, your life is going to be hell. Yep. And if you young and having, I mean, you just starting out, you're going to be broke as hell. See, I'm kids, telling him kids every are like single a poverty. thing I'm telling. And some people are going to be like, and you're entitled to your opinion. But what my son is not going to go through is the nonsense that's out here. What he's not going to go through is some of the things that I've been through. What he's not going to go through is the the, the, the dumb decisions that I've made. And I made some dumb decisions. I did some things like, you know what, when I think about it now, it's like, you know what, I should have never entertained that, done that, touched that. And I'm just being real. So I am sharing my experiences and my dumb decisions so my son can see this is the outcome based off dumb decisions. And you can say what you want to, but if I got to protect my son, I'm going to do whatever it takes by whatever means necessary. Because when he goes to do some of that bullshit, shit, he going to think, no, nah, no, nah, my dad is that. Nah, exactly. I want it to be at the forefront of his head. Now, don't get this misconstrued. I'm not telling my son that women ain't about nothing. That has never come Mm -hmm. out my mouth. I'm telling him to make better choices and to be a better man than me. Because I ain't have nobody guide me in that way. I didn't have no man guiding me in that Mm -hmm. way. No one had that conversation in that way when it came to me. So I'm out here just playing Russian roulette with everything, all my moves. And then I learned based off mistakes through trial and error error, when I made a mistake and this problem has created this, this, this thing is now is a living, breathing issue. And I'm like, what the hell did I do? Why? What was I thinking about? Mm -hmm. So I am leading him based off of my life. So he can do the opposite. So he can have more. So he don't go through those problems, those headaches, those sleepless nights. Yep. That pain and that anguish and that hurt. I don't want him going through none of the nonsense. And I don't want him to go through stuff that a lot of men are dealing with. All because she mad that he don't want her no more. All because he didn't went off and married somebody half her age. All because he's trying to move on with his life and she's just trying to make it he, he just trying he just trying to uh, he just trying to be in this kid's life and she's trying to make it hard for him there's a lot of women that are making it hard for men on purpose based off of what they used to have now with a will any of them admit that hell no they won't no they're not going to admit that that's too much like the truth I've never heard it I've never I heard ain't, I ain't never I heard a, a woman guy. in my life mm-hmm. that says you got women with I'm talking about they got good fathers. I mean, who are begging, busting their butt to be a father, and they send that good father through hell. Yeah. Can anybody elaborate on that? Or can anybody expound on that? I'm talking about people who don't have a penis. Can you expound on that? Can you make it make sense to me? Can you make it make sense to my brother, Brandon? Can you make it make sense to any of us men who are doing what the hell we supposed to do? Why do 
the dudes that's doing the good thing for their kids, why they got to go through hell? And what do they got to prove to you? They ain't got to yeah. prove nothing to nobody but that kid. Y'all created that child together and your punk ass is acting like you're superior. Yeah. And the stupid judicial system is backing y'all up with that bullshit. And I'm like, you gonna have this dude dictate to me how I see and spend time with my damn kid that I helped create. It. I, yeah. that, that nonsense would never make sense to me. If I was a woman, they ain't getting in my business. I don't care who you are. I'm gonna work it out. Period. And I always ask mom, she said, I, listen, baby, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't have time for it. I just didn't have time for that. If a person didn't want to be in your life, I'm not going to chase him down and make him be in your life. Yeah. If that's the choice he had to make, he's got to live with that and wake up and sleep with it every single night. Because when we do something bad, we got to wake up and sleep with it every single night. When we mess up, we got to wake up and sleep with it. You don't need no reminders. Yeah. You don't need to go back in time and need somebody to be like, hey, Sean, you remember what you did? Man, I, I remember. Where I, I don't need you to remind me. I know what I did wrong. I'm living with it. I'm waking up with it every freaking day. Go ahead, B. Yo, Dante, what's up, man? He's watching us on Twitch. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's funny. You never hear women say, oh, well, I had a, a, a good man and I messed it up. Or my kid's father, he was a great man and I messed that up. Sean, I will never hear it. Yeah. I, I never hear it. And I won't hear, but you know that, that that's the case. You know that that's the case. Shoot, I've seen the um, video the other night, and they were doing studies on, you know, uh, people uh, regretting leaving um, their exes. You know, they left somebody, and you know, they regret it later. Women have that regret way more than men do, because men men just simply move on, especially if the guy made something of himself. Of course, that, of, of course, but. As long as the laws are like this, Sean, it, it, it's, it's not going to change. It's not going to change because mm -hmm. you got women who basically celebrate, get excited and boast and brag. And we talking about six thousand dollars a year, Sean, on average, five thousand dollars a year. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of money. That's for the year. It's not a lot of money. Celebrating. Leaving family court, six thousand dollars a year. So you blew up your home and took your kids out of the home with their dad for six thousand dollars a year. That's what we're talking about. Hmm. I tell my son, man, listen. One mistake or bad choice, you will be paying for that for the rest of your life, bro. Yep. I said, there are some choices in this life, Jordan, that you make that you will pay a heavy price for the rest of your life, man. All because you didn't think it through. Don't be that dude, man. So Jordan, don't be that guy. I'm trying to keep money in your pocket and I'm trying to keep your head and your sanity intact, son. Mm -hmm. Because if you make the wrong choice with the wrong female, man, your life is going to be a living hell. Yeah. Period. And you're gonna be it, it's gonna taint you. It's gonna taint you, man. It's gonna it's gonna taint you to the point to where you don't even want to be bothered with them. It there's some dudes out here, they don't ever want to get married again. They all they want to do, they they want to smash and keep it moving. That's hey. all they want to do. Hey, check this, Sean. So yeah, and I know the guys you're talking about, but check this, Sean. The problem with that. Is that okay? If you want to do that, that's fine. You in your fifties, you don't had your kids. You you mm -hmm. know you're not trying to get married again. You already been there, done that. If right. I want to do do that, it might be a little more of a problem because I'm younger and they will want me to pair up and have children, especially in this country, so they can keep right. the numbers up. And it's only so they can keep the numbers up. They don't care about my child and any children right. that I have. They just want some mules to um to work. That's what they want. Exactly, bro. Um, but. You have young guys, Sean. It's, it's young guys. We're talking about early 20s, early 20s, late teens, good looking dudes. Hey, they can get girls. They, they, they get girls, see them out with girls all the time. They go, them went on dates and stuff. But they got to a point where after dealing with them for just a short amount of time, we're talking about late teens, early 20s. Your dealings with women isn't that long, man. That's a short amount of time. That's a blink of an eye in a man's lifetime. Is that 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 period right there? 
and they're done, Sean. They're done. They, they was like, I talked to him, like, nah, man, I done blocked all of my social media, man. I ain't really, I'm just focused on me, man. I'm trying to get my money up. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm not really interested anymore. Hmm. And it, it, it speaks volumes. Right. Bro, look, <laughs> man. Wow. <laughs> it, it, you yeah. know, um, it, 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 I'm, and, and I, I, I know that, B. And I'm not surprised because you know you you know guys talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have you have, you have you have gym talk. You know I got friends. You got gym talk. You know yeah, I got I talk. got yeah I got I got people who are not really friends but acquaintances that I see in the gym or I may run into them at the grocery store, car wash or whatever. And you chit chat and they'll tell you a little bit about what's this and that and this and that. And the guy's frame of mind is different than it was just 10 years ago. They don't want to deal with, men do not want to deal with a lot of the nonsense that they would deal with, with dealing with some of uh, these females and uh, getting caught up into that judicial system when it comes yep. to their child. Some yep. people don't want, you know, some men, I was like, no, nah, man, I see what my boy is going through. Let me tell you something, men are seeing what other men are going through and that's why the dynamics are changing and it's gonna keep changing. And it's going to keep changing. And they, you're going to see a lot more women single, a lot more women lonely, growing old by themselves. Because, you know, men are looking at, and, and I keep saying, men are looking at relationships. Huh, what am I getting? I'm constantly in my pocket, you know. Hell, mm-hmm. I can be by myself, move strategically and play chess, keep the money Stack in my money. pocket, and, <laughs> and do what I do, still get what I get. You know, I could do the covert operations. I can, I, can, I can watch the whole chess board and make my moves strategically. Yeah. That's where we at. That is where we at. Men are looking at what other men are going through. It's like, no, nah, I ain't making the moves. Yeah. Guys are listening to what I'm saying. I tell every young dude I meet, listen, bro, you got any kids? You're married? Uh, Negro, wait. Wait yeah. as long as you can freaking wait. Stack your paper. Get yourself in position. Get your brand yourself. Get yourself catapulted to the place you can be and get yourself to a place of power. Yep. Get yourself to a place of power to where you can dictate anything you want to dictate. You can control anything you want to control. I see more young dudes that are, I got dudes that are, that are clients of mine that's in their 30s and stuff. They're like, man, I don't want no kids. Why are men saying, and they're in full-blown relationships. Some are married yeah. in their 30s. I don't want no kids. Mm-hmm. I don't want no kids. Why? Sean, I don't want to. Sean, I see what men are doing. It is so sad that you got men in their 30s, early 40s, some in their late 20s, like, I don't want no kids because I see what my boys are going through. Yep. That is the response from men in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. They all are saying, I don't want no kids because I see what my friends are going through. Yep. These dudes are smart right now, man. I'm talking, I'm talking about my heterosexual brothers. They saying, I don't want no dude. No, I mean, excuse me, no kids. I don't want none. Because that system ain't for me. It's, re- it's set up for her. They don't yeah. care nothing about me. They don't nope. care if I lose my job. They don't care if I'm they taking so much money, I can't pay my damn bills. I'm working two or three jobs, and they're killing me. Every time I get a job, they're they taking out my page. And, I, and, and that's one damn kid. And a kid don't need all that. That kid two years old. Uh, six thousand. What six thousand a month? Five thousand a month? A thousand a month? Eight hundred every two? What, man, what is going on? So, I mean, so, it makes no sense. So, it Sean, makes no sense. yeah, 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 Dante. This is a he said hard topic. This is this hard, is a hard topic, topic, Dante. Dante, so, hard. So, one, so, so, all of that you just said, Sean. So, imagine doing all of that and you find out the kid not yours. Hey, fraud, paternity fraud is twenty to thirty percent in this country. So two to three out of 10 kids, every 10 kids does not belong to that father. That's insane. Mm. Absolutely insane. I've seen where um, a guy's job, I I think his job made the error. And so his child support wasn't getting paid on time, but he did what he was supposed to do. They put him in jail anyway. He lost his job. And it come to find out, dude, the kid is not even his. And the mom's excuse, she's like, well, I knew it wasn't his, um, um, but I needed somebody to put down. 
So she put his name on the birth certificate, son. Put him down as the father. And this man paying child support for a kid that wasn't his. Went to jail, lost his job. Yeah. And had to st still had to pay the back child support even after it was found out that that wasn't his kid. So what does that tell you about our system? Hmm. It's not about the children. It's not about the women. It's not about us. It's about money. At the end of the day. Always. Always. It's always. Why? Uh, you know, you know, man, B, what I, it, it's so sad. Um, relationships ain't got nothing to do with it. Even marriages ain't got nothing to do with love no more. No. Nothing. Love is out the window. It's gone. It's all about what can you do for me? Men, provide. Provide is all about what you're doing for me. Oh, I, you can say, you can, you can mind yep. fuck yourself and believe in what provide is. It's all about, provide means nothing to men about what you can do for me. Yep. That's all. Provide means nothing about what you can do for me. I got a vagina. What can you do for me? Mm -hmm. What can you do for me? That's what provide means. What can you do for me? Provide, give. It's all about giving. And some women are highly delusional to think that all they got to do is lay on their back and oh, everything's good. Yeah. Hey, so, and then, I, so he's so he's doing all of that for a piece of ass. Yeah. And then Sean, think about this too. Not only it's what can you do for me, what you did yesterday is null and void today. Exactly. Because exactly. it's now it's not only not it's not what you can do for me or what you have done, it's always going to be what are you going to do for me, even exactly. when you're doing. And 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 I've had conversations with men, it was like, Sean, why am I? Why am I why am I busting my ass working hard just to do stuff for this person just for some ass? Yeah. And then Sean, when she gets mad and don't feel like it, I don't get none. She gets mad and don't, oh, I'm tired. I don't get none. Like, Sean, I'm doing all this. And half the time I don't even get it. And half the time it ain't even that great. The numbers on sexless marriage, Sean, is astounding. That's it's, it's amazing. It's, it's it's a mind boggling, bro. Yes. And not only that, but people that's with people that's not married. Dude, she getting her feelings about anything, bro. Mm -hmm. You don't get nothing. And she still expect you to continuously do something with that, with that messed up attitude and demeanor and character. Yep. And I'll be like, what am I, you know, when you think about it, it's like, I'm finna marry this? Yep. Ain't no way in hell. Because Whatever she's doing while you are dating, she gonna be doing that shit on a higher level when you marry. Now you're stuck. Yep. See, you're out. You are blessed that you ain't married to her. Because you ain't stuck. You can leave her dud ass at any given damn time you want to. Mm -hmm. You got, it's got to make sense. For me, it, for me it's got to make sense. You getting everything you want to, but then I'm still digging. I'm still coming out my pocket for your attitude. Oh my God, I'm so sick of hearing this shit. I'm the prize thing. <laughs> it's all about me. A man supposed to do this. A man supposed. To, uh, how how do how is it possible that modern day women want a traditional man? And there is no way damn close on their best day close to the traditional woman. How is that supposed to work? Brandon, please, please, brother, I beg of you. I beg of you, please make that make sense to me. How can a modern day woman expect a traditional man and they ain't even remotely close to ever being traditional? There ain't no virgins. A traditional woman is a virgin. I mean, if we do, Kim, I mean, if we don't talk honest. about it, let's talk about it. I mean, I'm just being honest. Yeah. A traditional woman is a virgin. A traditional woman is a real wife. All that, 
all that jibbing and jabbing and you doing that's a, a tradi traditional women are subservient traditional women are submit all oh, that word that y'all can't stand you can't be modern day woman with a modern day attitude wanting a traditional man and traditional things that's not how that works and yeah. that's why you will continually continually not get it because you got a modern day attitude but you want a traditional man and you ain't even trying to be a traditional woman yourself somebody please make it make sense to me i mean am i wrong b yeah talk to no, me no that 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 that's where that's where we are right now that that's where that's where the um um uh, what they call it, the standstill is that, that, that that's where it is right now because both sides have pretty much dug uh, men have dug into their side and of course you know women are stubborn uh they've dug into their side and they're like dudes are like well if i'm going to be traditional i need xyz and so when women can't get men to operate the way they want they shame us that's because that's the only thing they can do they shame us they shame us. Well, a real man would do X, Y, Z. A real man does this. A real man does that. And I always, I said it years, I said, saying, been saying it for three years now. Ask a woman to describe her quintessential man or what she says is a real man, and she's going to describe a slave or most likely a woman. Yeah. 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 When you break, when they, when they break that down. Mm hmm you know, I mean, we oh. joked about this about five years ago, me and, me, and, me and some of my buddies, about five, six years ago, I was in Texas then, and he was like, when, he, Sean, when we break it down, they don't want to, they don't want a dude, they want a female. Mm -hmm. All they describing is a woman in my eyes, yep. and you ain't getting that out of me. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I, I think I'm wearing the, the, the wrong uniform for you. I think you need somebody with a dress. I mean, yeah. that's what you want to do. I mean, good luck to you. But you, you're not describing a man. You're describing a female. No. All day, every day. Yeah. See, Dante say fake boobs, fake hair, fake nails, fake eyebrows, fake everything, and she wants a real man. I mean, yeah, that that, that <laughs> that's what we that's what we do. That's what it is today. You know, I, I've never seen so so many. <laughs> Dante, that was good, bro. That was, that was good. good. So <laughs> many. They they want to that what because what it is, Sean. They they know that. They need stability. They need that traditional man. They need that plow horse, <laughs> the guy who's going to do the work. They need that. He said, uh, he said, he glad you like it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. They need that plow horse. So right. the exciting man and the stable man who's going to be traditional are usually two different guys. The guy who's going to be the most exciting and get her going and give her the tingles and stuff. That dude ain't paying for nothing because he get other women excited too. So he ain't got to do nothing but show up. So there's right. there's there's no way. Let's see who's that uh dope mindset. He said, Hey, what's up? Say that's head game is the fire. <laughs> yeah, somebody on Twitch. <laughs> that's their name. He said head game is, that's is the, fire. That's their name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Head game. That's uh, hilarious. Fire. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um them <laughs> wanting to be have that have that um that stability and that covering and have have that relationship but they still want to operate like they're single that's why they go to girls nights out that's why they go to girls trips dude i seen like uh they did a show the jamaican girls trip and dude you seen them the, the, the these jamaican brothers rubbing these women down they call a lime a limestone uh massage and rubbing their whole body rubbing them down and i'm like I know it's married women doing that right now, and you got to be of out course. your mind. Of course, of course, man. So what? What? Hey. It, this is what it's coming to. This is what it's coming to, Sean. In the future, because of stuff like this, uh -huh. our our interactions, men and women, our interactions will be purely, purely transactional. We won't play the the the, the song and dance of romance and trying to be all nice. And, no, it's going to be, hey, I want that. How much is that? That's what the interaction is going to come down to. Cause the young guys are like are getting like that now. See, like we we still you come from the 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 the, the age of romance and and, and R and B. You know, I come from right. the Disney and the nineties R and B. Right, so right, we kind of right. got still a little bit of that or whatever. But the young guys they didn't come up like that. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like, hey, this for that. What's up, baby? This for that. I'm not yeah. trying to sell myself to you. I got stuff to do. So if you gonna give me that, I got the funds. Let's do this so I can be on about my business. That is what's you. gonna happen. 
He talking like raw or no? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, I mean, the, I mean, the dudes, man, the younger cats, man, I'm like, ah, dang. I mean, it's just, you know, Dante said, I'll just be happy if the kids yeah, were really, really mine. <laughs> oh, Dante, Dante, that, see, that right there, the uh, bar is low. Uh, the bar, the bar is low. That's a low <laughs> bar, but that's where we are. <laughs> see, man. The, the expectations of men and the expectations of women are very different. They, are they of course, they very. women are going to argue. Are women going to argue that oh, y'all list is long? I'm like, dude, if you put a man's list next to a woman's list, y'all will still be talking. We be done after about four, th- four, four, maybe three, four, five things. Yeah, you know, our list is never going to come close to a woman's list of expectations. It's, it's just not. This no. is not. We got to be your husband, your preacher, your lawyer, your therapist, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. We got to be everything to you. Your father, your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, your grandma. We got to be everything to you. Yeah. We got to be Jesus. We got to be God. We got to be we got to be Moses. We got to be we got to be everything to them. And by the time you get tired of wearing 20 different hats to her one that she's being to you. Mm, mm, sometimes half-assing it at best. Yeah, you you're weighing your options like that. That's why I keep going back to it. Men are like, what am I getting? That's why men ain't running to the altar. You, I, where have you seen a man rushing to get married? Yeah, he just woke up and be like, boy, I can't wait to get married. I ain't never in my life. Uh, no, nope, nope. I ain't never had my life had a man tell me, Sean, I can't wait to get married. Yeah. I ain't never heard that. Yeah. I mean, um, so so this is the question, Sean. So are, are I seen it's the the rumblings have started about it, but collectively, are they ready? The only way this we get any type of change and any type of common ground, you got to admit that the single motherhood um, project was a failure. You have to. It is. It was a massive failure. That's mm-hmm. what it was. Because the share of single mothers who were able to hold it together, we found out, Sean, it's very few. Very few. And it's not because, and it's not because women aren't capable necessarily. It's because of what you described earlier, the way they operate. Me, 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 my, my, my. The needs of the children. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I, I'll get that in some time, but me first. Yeah. When it, when a man has a family, that's not that. No, Mm-mm. he make he makes his moves that stuff that's best for everyone. He thinks about mm-hmm. everyone when he's making his moves. You want him to be the protector and provider, and that traditional man that you're looking for, that God fearing man you're looking for. Okay, well, if you want him to live by those standards, why aren't you living by those standards too, man? Mm-hmm. That's why when when women get in my face and I hear them talking about God this and Christian that and God this, I was like, oh, you having sex out of wedlock? Oh, you got kids. Have you ever been married? Okay, so you just picking and choosing what parts of the Bible you want to apply then. <laughs> you don't live that life. I told the girl uh, that to her face. I said, you, you pick and choose. You pick and choose what parts of the Bible you want to apply. You don't really live that life. She didn't mm, like that, of course. Of course not. Of course she didn't, B. Of course she didn't. But, you know, the father daughter dance, man, it just opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, the DJ says something. He said, You guys are here showing your daughters um, what it's like to see a, a, a gentleman firsthand, you know, just the yeah. way you treat it. You know, me, when I asked my daughter, you know, I reached out my hand and I asked her for that dance, you know. Um, it was it was really cool to be a father and to experience that. Now, I must commend her mother. Her mother is definitely not the normal mother. Right. Yeah. She watched her, she, my, her, my daughter's mother watched her brother, her younger brother, go through the nonsense of women playing games with a child. Mm-hmm. She, her mother literally gets angry at women who act like they're superior over the father when without his DNA, without his penis to reach your vagina, that child wouldn't be created. And you treat that dude 
like he had no dealings in creating that child. You treat that dude yep. like a stranger, and that's his child. He's the father of your kid. Y'all created this beautiful child together, and you treat him like a piece of crap. Why? Because he, you mad? Because y'all not together? Uh, or I, you know what? I hate this man. You know, one thing, one, one thing about females, man. That I see, man, you could tell when they got boy. You could tell when your ex got a new man. It, boy, they, boy, they start acting brand new with you. I'm like, you know, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't care who you're sleeping with. Yeah. All I care about is that kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't care nothing about that schmuck that you're sleeping with. I mean, good luck to him. I'm going to pray for him. He yeah, don't know what yeah. he's about to deal with. He don't know what he didn't ran up on. Yep. So I'm glad I ain't got to deal with your ass no more. Yep. My concern is mine. What I take care of. Where my money goes to. The yep. only problem I'm going to have with that that new schmuck that you dating is lest he do anything or cause a oh God, just a strand of hair of her or his head, that nigga better relocate to a different country. I swear to God. Because me and them goons, we coming for you, bro. We coming for you. That's all my concern. You ain't going to have no problem. Dude, you won't even see me. We ain't even yeah. got to have a conversation. I ain't nope. got I ain't got no beef with you, Smooth. The only beef I'm gonna have with you, because I didn't did whatever I wanted to do with her. Yeah. You, you, you I mean you 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 coming, you collecting, you 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 coming, you dude, I'm done. I all that you doing, I done done that, and yeah, whatever, whatever. You getting sloppy seconds. I really don't care. My concern is my kid. Don't do nothing to harm my child, bro. And me with you will never have no issues. Yeah. But if you do anything to harm mine, I, I don't care about nobody else and what they do. I'm going to jail for her. Oh, Giselle and Jordan? Oh, I'm going to prison. For Je- Jordan and Giselle, I'm going to be on death row. That means I'm literally taking you out on purpose and anything that got to do with you. And I'm just being a no. So, uh, yes, America, you can say I'm threatened. I've made a viral. Uh, uh, I hope the threat goes viral because mm-hmm. it's viral. Don't mess with my kid and me and you ain't got no problems. Whatever you do with her, that's between you and her. She's no longer my woman. So that's no longer my concern. Okay. She wanted to be with yeah. you. Good luck to you with that leave of the beaver shit. I, all I care about is my kid. Yeah, that's it. You harm them, then, bro, we gonna have problems, and you you don't want them problems. No, because I'm coming for you, bro. I'm I'm trying to snatch your juggler out your body. I'm trying to snatch your spleen out, bro. I'm just letting you know, I ain't what you think I am. Forget about the articulate words and the nice posts and the big words and education. That is the opposite of who I am. That's a smoke screen, my friend. It's a smoke screen. <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know. I'm an actor. That's yeah. a smoke screen. But behind those words and behind that curtain, boy, you don't want that smoke, bruh. Because it's coming. It's coming. That's all. That's the only thing. I, I don't care not about that. Yeah. I, I, ain't no, I ain't no hater. Jealousy. Jealous? Over who? Yeah. Dude, I didn't, I didn't been there, done that. I, 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 I was in that movie. I was a star in it. I wrote it. The author, the producer, the director. Yep. Been all up, been all over that, did all of what I needed to do. Bro, I'm I'm good. Just don't mess with my kid. Then we we straight. Yeah. It is yeah. what it is. Straight up. See, Dante say, uh, I'm starting to feel sad. You have a great talk. I'll be lurking. <laughs> hey, he said he had to, <laughs> he had to go. He said, man, he said it's too much. It's too much. But it's it's cold. That is cold, man. When when it's cold. as a man, when you really, when it really, really hits you. When you really right. become self-aware and you understand how the game is played, and th- this is what you do, because I'm a firm believer in it, and and the same thing happened to me. You can either love women or you can understand them. You can't do both. And it sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. 
<laughs> once you understand them and how they are, then right. you're like, okay. See, and once I understood them, this I was like, oh, they're people just like me. I shouldn't put any. I I, I got to take them off the pedestal that I was conditioned to put them on. I say no, mm -mm, we on equal footing, and, and no way are you superior to me. You know. Right. Um, and then once I once I understood how they were, and I was like, wow, these are people who, for the most part, if you don't pick the right one, it Ooh. will destroy you. I'm Damn talking man. about destroy you. Right. And the problem is, is that every woman is capable of doing it to you. Every woman is capable. Not saying every woman would, but just know every woman is capable. Like I seen a, um, this lady, this girl, she had put up a post. Uh, she had made a tweet and the tweet has said, um, I'm going let, let I'm to I'm quote it for you, Sean. I'm going to quote it verbatim and I'm going to tell you my response. And of course, you know, you had black, black men on there. They, see, it, it, this, this is where black black men, when it when the date as the dating game progress, a lot of you guys are going to fall by the wayside because they still talking about macking on chicks and and and, and um yeah they, they still talking about macking on chicks and and running game and no these young girls are gonna be like um f you pay me that's what these young girls on they ain't gonna be oh, on no oh, um man. none of those sweet words and all of that crap no 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 it's no no no, no. Bag. it's about the bag it's, it's about the bag it's about the bag yeah. so she said men who are used to getting ass for little to nothing do not trick and so I said, hmm, that is false. So this is what I said. I said, false. He's still a trick. He's just tricking off his time. He thinks he's better <laughs> than the guy that pays. He's not. Time is right. more valuable. Right. Right. Boy. And that's what the young guys are going to. Yeah, that's what a lot of guys. That's what I figured out, Sean, is that like, like you yourself, you a very busy man. Your time is valuable. Baby. Very. I ain't got time to be chatting you up, running game, talking about, hey, you know, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I like you or this, and let me take you out. No, 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 no. That that time can be used to help better myself and to build this bank account. Right. That part right there, brother. All day, every day. Chasing? Man, I ain't got time to be chasing you, man. My mm. business ain't finna go down because I'm chasing you. No. No, buddy. No, this ain't, this, hey, man. You know, hey, this ain't no, this ain't, no, this ain't no, this, this is, you know, like, 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 like <laughs> Cedric from Bob Shop. This ain't no bullfight. I mean, I ain't chasing you. <laughs> Running behind you. I'm like, look, dude, I got, listen, man, this right here, where you see me at, I might as well pretty much live here. Yeah. I, how, I, I, I can't run this and chase you at the same time. Yeah. We're going to have to come to a happy medium. Yeah. Something's going to suffer. This biz. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it can't suffer. Yeah, and you ain't you doing something for me financially? Oh no, that's no. easy. I'm saying you ain't no. doing nothing for me. No, so I got to I got to keep it moving. I don't have time for the chase. I'm just not. Yeah. If I had, maybe if I had a nine to five. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'll, you know I I do a couple of laps with you, but I'm not on a nine to five. This thing don't stop. Yep. You know, I'm on this yeah, so, P. Diddy thing. Can't stop, won't yeah. stop. Right. So Dante yeah. is talking about that. There's something worse than death <laughs> in life, an evil woman. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> boy, ain't nothing worse than a woman scorn, boy. I thought that. I thought I used to think that was fiction. Boy, just like James Brown. Who was it, James Brown? I don't know who it was. The sweetest woman in the world could be the meanest woman in the world. Yeah. Oh, they got a deck of, they got a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing mm -hmm. going on. For sure. I've seen it. And boy, when that thing flip, that thing is oogly. Yeah. Well, really like, like Jenna said, um, uh, as mighty as a lion, but as gentle as a bluebird. Yeah, that's that's real. That's real talk, man. These women ain't out here to be messed with, man. You get on their bad side, bro. It's gonna be trouble, trouble. But I'm just saying yeah. they just mm, mm. and then oh, so yeah, yeah, think of the uh, the issues that um, if you a guy think of the issues that you having with you know the mother of your children 
and she's like in her mid thirties or older. Imagine what the guys with, with women with kids and they in their early twenties, early or late teens, early twenties, and what they going through. I mean, if you just you talk to a lot of women, and I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they just live in La La Land or they just think it's a movie. But and if, of course, this is not all. But a lot of them are not seeing past today. They're not seeing past thirty days. It's kind of like moment to moment, living in the moment, right. moment to moment. Right. right. And it's about them moment to moment. Right. Yeah, that 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 there's no there's no there's no sacrifice. That's why you got it now where uh, the dating game flips. Like women did women didn't did, didn't know that the dating game flips after 30 for men, men and women. It, it flips. So women women get all the privilege. Um, from 18 to 30, and then um, once they hit, once they hit 30, especially really at 35, the dating game really flips at 35, and then men start to come into their own. They start making more money, you know, on their purpose, building their body, building their brands, and those average guys that you wanted nothing to do with, all of a sudden, oh snap, he's Sean Taylor now, <laughs> he's Brandon Lampley now. Right, right, right. Mm, yeah. Mm. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Oh, of course you didn't, because you didn't see the vision. Yeah, and sometimes in life, some people have no vision. Yeah. And, and, and Brandon, you said it best. But my, my mother told me that. She said, Sean, a lot of women don't think long term. They just think right now. Right now. I see it. Right now. They want the ready-made man right now and right they now. not even a ready made woman she says sean you're going to find out if you long as you live she said oh you're going to learn yet yeah, son you're going you keep living you'll learn a lot of life lessons you're going to find out a lot women majority of them always want what they are not themselves yep. i was like dang i didn't think that was true what she said but once again I lived long enough, and that woman, <laughs> straight gospel truth, man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm Duh. like, I'm, I'm like, I'm so tired of that woman being right. That woman was right in life, and she's she's even more right in death. Yeah. Like, ah, she ain't lying. I, everything yeah. she told me, I see. When it comes yeah. to a woman, that woman wasn't wrong. And see, how can a woman? And then when I ha I ha I have man I have some intellectual conversations with females just about their yeah. own situations. Mm -hmm. And when I tell them something that my mom said, I'm like, my next go to is like, how can a woman be wrong about how women are when she's a woman? Now, if you it was a man that was telling me this information, you, you, we can you could you know we could go back to forth and you probably could yeah. refute that and rebuttal and you yeah. know it could be a debate. But when there's a woman exposing women on women ways, you really don't have a leg to stand on, ladies. So yeah. don't do don't do that. Just admit it. Yeah. And the older woman don't mind calling out y'all younger women about women's shit. Yeah. Hey, and they, they have no problem trying to cancel them. Speaking of which, um, before we get out of here, yeah, yeah, about, yeah, you, you, you got to go into what we, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, you got to dig so, into so, that. So, so, so thinking about um, Monique, Monique, remember she called them out about the bonnets. They were in a uproar about those damn bonnets, <laughs> and she was right. Monique was right, but she, but we got even, even, even more press of issue. So Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mother, is uh, she's a uh, uh, executive producing a docu series. Called profile uh, the black man. I think that's, that's the name of profile. And so they basically debunking all of the things about black men, the way we're portrayed in the media, our image. You know, us being not uh, absent fathers, jailbirds, uh, uh, gang bangers, and all that. They're debunking all of that because most of us are not like that. Now, have some of us had a rough pass? Yeah, we had a rough pass. Shoot, Jay Z, he had a rough pass. You know, it is what it is. But what is he now? What is he working towards now? You know, and so she wanted to do that. They started a petition, started a petition. Like I forgot what one of those was it change.org, one of them. And they wanted to turn a petition to, to stop it so it doesn't get put out. Because it's like, why are you, um, what you uplifting them for? What you saying this about them for? And they started quoting statistics 
of black men abusing black women and how black women are killed every six hours or something and usually they're killed by an intimate partner, things like that. And I'm like, wow, there's so many things out there for women. Dude, anything for dudes, just a little. Oh, it's misogyny. Oh, it's inequality. Why are you talking about them like this? And you want to get it changed. And it, it, it's amazing. I saw a girl make a tweet. She said, guys who come from a stable two-parent home have one of the worst mindsets. That lets you know where we are. Yeah, yeah, Sean. What? It was on, I saw it on Twitter. That lets you know where we are, that we're so far gone that they think what should what was a traditional nuclear family is, is, is bad. No. That I can do it on my own has poisoned, poisoned our community. Straight poison. Wow. And it's, it's killing us slowly because we were 13, we were 14% of the population. I think just 15 years ago, Sean, I think we're 12% now and dropping. What the it's hell? killed. It's, it's killed our community. Wow, bro. That is crazy, man. I, I, yeah. I, no more families. I don't, uh, you know, <laughs> what, what would women or men do without each other, man? Hmm. We need each Can't other. Have one without the other. Yeah, we're better together than we are apart. It's it it it, it it's it's like the Neo song says. It defines the relationship between a man and woman just phenomenally. I know what you're talking about. He, he says, I'm a movement by myself, mm -hmm. but I'm a force when we together. Yep. That's all you need to say to each other. I'm a movement. Now, I'm, Sean knows he's a movement by himself. You, I don't need no woman to pry me up to work because I'm going to outwork you any day of the week. Yep. I don't need you to, uh, uh, you, you'll never come home and I'm going to be the first one home. I'm always going to be the first one to leave. I'm always going to be the last one to come home. It's always going to be like that. I'm, I'm going to always work the most hours. I'm going to always yep. be on my hustle. I'm always going to be on my grind. You're not going to have to prime me up because I ain't got no vision. And, and I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not being proactive. I'm always going to be working on me, working on my mindset, training my mind every day, working the business. I'm always going to be because, you know, I'm always going to be on top of my thing. And I know I'm a movement by myself. I know yeah. I am because I am mentally. I am mentally. See, a lot of people don't. They you, you motivation. I am mentally inspired and mentally motivated. See, the mental never stops. It goes no. twenty four seven. People got out. You got other reasons why they're inspired and motivated. See, when you are motivated mentally, it never shuts off. Yeah. I'm so mentally motivated that you are going to have to talk me to kind of, Sean, can you shut your brain off? Can you shut it off? I'm mentally motivated. I'm always thinking. So I know I'm a movement by myself without you. But I'm not dumb enough to say out my mouth that I don't need you. Yeah. I know I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when me and you are together. We could get so much accomplished together than we ever could apart. Yeah. Yeah. We we can build so much together. Here's the thing. Key word together, not just off Sean back, but off both of our backs. Yep. People say they want to build an empire, but you don't have the I want to build an empire attitude put into action when it comes to the dollar. It's always got to be him. How can you build an empire off one person's back? If I, if the empire is built off my back and my back alone, I am going to humanly have resentment towards you because you ain't helped me do a damn thing. Yeah. But you are reaping the benefits and capitalizing off of my hard work. Mm -hmm. But you talking about we want to build if you if you want to build an empire with me who's already building, that means you got to get in a foxhole and in the trenches 
and in the and in the ditch with me. Yep. You know, women talk about equality all the time. My brother brought this up last night. You want to be equal? Why not everybody start getting in construction? Everybody, everybody. Why don't everybody dig ditches? Don't don't everybody. Don't everybody. Just, why don't don't why, why why don't everybody be garbage men? Don't yeah. just pick and choose the don't things that you want to have CEO. equality in. Yeah, don't just be CEO. Do it in every facet of yeah. the imagination mm -hmm. of equality. If you want, you that's the thing. See, that's the disconnect that intellectual men have with women. Y'all trying to piss down our back and call it rain, talking about equality this, equality that. Mm, do it across the board, baby. Yeah. Do everything. Hey, guess what? There's a war going on. Uh, we may or may not be a part of it. Why don't you go ahead and enlist? Yeah. No, don't enlist in finance and administration and nursing. Enlist in infantry. Enlist in field artillery. Enlist on the front lines. I mean, you want equality. Get on the front lines. See, I'd have been on those front lines. It ain't for the weak. Yeah. You want equality? Get equal in every single thing. Yep. I mean, equal in everything that we are. Mm hmm now we can't have babies, you know, we can do about that. But we ain't fighting for equality. Yeah. It's never gonna be an even playing field for the bros. Period. Yep. But if we want to be equal, be equal in everything. Yeah. Every iota. Everything. Mm -hmm. Then we can have a conversation. But no, I'm a pick. I'm a pick and choose. I'm a. I'm gonna do this. No, I don't want to do that. My nails. My nails. I want to do that. Uh, my my weave. You don't. We really don't want equality. Yeah. Get get on TikTok and look at female soldiers on TikTok, Sean. They are losing their crap right now. The U.S. Uh, military female soldiers. Some of them losing it right now because they know any day they can be deployed. Mm-hmm. They lose the girl. She was just crying. She like y'all just y'all so insensitive. Y'all don't know what we go through. Like, wait, what? Huh? We we didn't. What did we? What did we? Did do? You sign up for that? You? Uh, I'm confused. She was yeah. drafted. <laughs> <laughs> the draft came back. I, you know, I know the draft yeah, came I, back. I, I don't I know. That was I thought that was a conscious decision on your part. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, the military is uh. Hey, whatever we need you, uh, that's what we're gonna do with you. I know mm -hmm. what your MOS is, mm -hmm. but if I need you over there in that fire, mm -hmm. it get in in the smoke. In if I need you over there in the shit, mm -hmm. that's where you're gonna see the military. Real, it, it's a lot of trickery in the military. You can have an MOS. It could be this, thirteen, this, twelve, that, you know, eight, this, or whatever. But if they need you somewhere, your MOS is out the window. You going. Yeah. We need you over here in Afghanistan. We need you over in the Middle East. We need you over there in Russia and Ukraine. That, hey, that's where you're going. 14,000 uh, so troops I, already headed there. I'm just saying, the military, I loved it when I was in there. Had a good time. Saw a lot. Been around the world. And, you know, just seen so much that the common person probably would never see in their life. Uh, but the military, you are a number. Yeah. You are, please don't, please, please don't think because you got the uniform on that you're somebody special. You are a number and they will put you and use you however they want to put you and use you however they seem fit. You ain't got no voice. They don't care yeah. about your opinion. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about your attitude. You going to get your dud ass up and you're going to go exactly where they want you. I mean, you got the brig. I mean, do you want to go to Port Leavenworth, get locked up? I mean, you got choices now. Yeah. They can they can lock your ass up. Yep. You know, I mean, if you, you know, you you know you got that level of resistance, but you made the conscious choice to join that military uh, uh man the fuck up. That's all I that's all I can tell you. Yep. One thing I loved about the military. <laughs> All that bullshit and shit y'all talking about. I ain't coming here to work and all this stuff. Yeah, try that once. I double dog dare you. 
Try that once for the government. Boy, they gonna hand you your ass in a Winn-Dixie bag. Not the plastic, but the brown paper bag. They gonna hand you your ass in a Winn-Dixie bag. You talk, yeah. I wish all y'all who talk all that trash to them bosses, them CEOs on that job, carry your dead ass in the middle. Boy, they gonna hand you, yes, you too, young lady. They gonna hand you your ass. All yeah. that stuff that you're talking about out here, man, ain't none of that shit going on over there, man. I mean, I hate to tell you, you yep. ain't nobody to them. Yep. Sorry, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. I can't speak on it. I can, I mean, I can speak on it because I've been in the military. <laughs> that shit ain't changed. It is never your voice. <laughs> you ain't got no voice. You ain't got no voice. You borderline in prison. Yeah. The only difference between prison and that, you can go what you want, where you want to go, eat where you want to eat, get in your car, you know, take trips. Yeah. But you got uniforms on the same, like everybody doing jail and in prison. Mm -hmm. They tell I you said, what to do. I said that. Jail and prison. They wake your ass up, like jail or in prison. Tell you when to go to bed, like jail or in prison. Oh, whatever they say, oh, you going to do it, like jail or in prison. You made the choice. I'm just going to let you know. You ain't nobody special. So I know you're over there. Listen, I feel your pain. I've been in wartime situation. It's rough. You don't know if you're coming back. You don't know if you're going to see your mama or your woman again. Or... I've been there. It messes with you psychologically. I empathize and sympathize with you because I know what you're going through. But you got a man to fuck up now. You know, you, you, you can't get out of it. Yeah. So if, you, if they want your ass over there, that's where you're going. Yep. Just call your mama, your daddy, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, baby, baby they, you know, we going over there. And that's all. And they can cry on the phone all they want to. They can't stop it. Mom and daddy can't save you. Your man, your woman can't save you. All they can do is sit back and wait. Yep. You know, you know, send you a, a, a goodie package and, you know, care packages and all that stuff. Mama, send, mama, please send me some Swiss cake rolls and some Twinkies. Uh, mom, can you give me mm -hmm. some canned goods and, you know. I mean, that's, this is a conversation I had with my mom. Mom, can you do this? Uh, I had a French girlfriend. I said, baby, can you can you do that? I mean, that's... A, mm. Yeah. Yep. So, B, they, they whining. They whining, B, huh? They, they whining. whining they, they, they whining right now, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy to see in real time. Like, you see... I don't, they, they think this is a movie, Sean. They think we we live in the like they think they think they're the they're the the the, the award winning actress in their own movie. That's what they think this is. They think this is a game. This ain't no game, man. That military is no game. That's real life stuff, man. Let me tell you something. You know it's real. I remember when we was in we was in in Germany. Now let me tell you something, Bean. I. Uh, it's just need to know basis. I'm just gonna put it out there anyway. What are they gonna do? They probably you ain't supposed to be telling them that, but I'm gonna tell you. My unit, we weren't even supposed to go. Our battalion commander volunteered our happy asses to go. <laughs> so if your battalion commander is trying to make rank and he wants to be a brigadier general one day, he gonna volunteer you. John Brown hind parts to go on over there when you ain't even supposed to go. See, we was in the we was we was in the clear. We we could have been back in the rear chilling. I could have been yeah. in the NCO club, get my groove on. But he wanna get more rank. He's like, more nah, rank. you know, I you know, I you know, um, it's you know when they when they asked him. You know, he was just like, you know, at first he was like, he heard the record playing. He was like, stop the record and rewind. <laughs> rewind. That. That's, <laughs> that's exactly how it went down. Um, we, we going. We, yeah. we going. General, we going. Because he want to make right. He volunteered our whole unit and we didn't even have to freaking go. Yeah. That's a true story. Yeah. And once we got over there, once we started, you know, I'm, the, the word started traveling. I said, what kind of shit is this? You mean to tell me we ain't have to go? And this fool volunteered for us to go? Because he trying to make rank. 
I say, God damn, this Joker tried to enhance his career off of my ass. Yeah. You know, bullets damn near grazing my ass. So I mean, I mean, so I'm over there because this dude wants to volunteer us. That's how I got over there in the Middle East. We didn't even have to go. True story. Can't make that shit up. <laughs> Brandon. <Wow>. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's crazy. I ain't going to do that. What? B, what? Man, a battalion commander can do anything he wants to. He got the power. He's an officer. He can do whatever he wants to. We salute him. Yeah. And what you going to do? All you're going to do is salute him and just shut the hell up. You can't say no. You. I wish you would have said something to him. Yeah, you just got to do that. You just got to be like, God damn! I just had to call mom because I want to say I don't know who went first. I don't know if my brother went first or I went first. My mom wrote the president of the United States, and this is how cold mm-hmm. they was with it. You know, I thought both of my sons didn't have to. Be, I didn't. I thought both of my sons uh, couldn't be in the war situation at the same time. They wrote her back and said. The only way one of your boys is coming back, I was so cold, man, unless one of them is killed in battle. Wow. Let me tell y'all something, man. That further lets you know, everybody, that they don't give a damn about your kid, your husband, your daughter. They are number. Yeah. They are a number. So forget what you heard. And that's why when people be talking that shit out their mouth about the military and this and the kneeling of the flag, man, shut the hell up. Where you ain't where have you what you don't even know what a flag code means. You don't know about nothing. Please shut the hell up. Just shut up. What war have you served in? What day of time have you served in? What risk have you taken with your life? I'm over there yep. risking my life for y'all punk asses and your ungrateful sons of bitches gonna have this nerve to have the audacity to start talking about kneeling and everything. Ain't you are free because of me and my boys. So shut up. Please stop it. Cease and desist. Your kid is a number. Your husband, your wife is a number. And that's how it is and how it forever will be in the military. And I ain't got a problem with it. I, I find I signed up. I did my time. I served my country. I was discharged honorably. I did my part for this country. So yeah. B, that's how it is, bro. It ain't what it ain't what people think it is. And that's just a small part that I'm I'm going to share. I can't share no more with you. That's a, that's I, a little I, bit. That's, I, a, I, that's I, barely I, a, that's barely a I, slice. I don't need no government calling me saying that I'm letting all kind of stuff out the back. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm doing. And I don't think there's no harm in it, but our unit didn't have to go. Hey, Sean, to, 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 to put this in perspective of the information you just gave, it's like right. back in back in the day with the old cartoons where they be starving and they try to give out stuff to everybody and they'll slice a piece of bread thin enough to see through it. That's how much information you just gave us. <laughs> a see-through slice of what goes on. What's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just a little bit, B. Just a little bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Just, just a, little a little bit. bit. People, just, people just don't understand, man. And I'm like, you know, that's it. I, at the time, it, you know, we all, me and my boys, we was like, man, this is what kind of, this is how messed up is this, bro. Yeah. We ain't even we ain't even post we our unit ain't even have to go. But you know what, man? Yeah. Uh in being in the military, I have no regrets. I would do it all over again. Yeah. I would do it all over again. It was a it was an honor. It was an honor. Yeah. Just, just the, the friendships I made and, and the alliances, yeah. you know, and all different types of things, man. It's something I'll never forget. And I, I got friends that I'm friends with till this day that we served with, you know. Yeah. We even got we even got our, my old unit from Europe, man. We even got uh, a Facebook group page, mm-hmm. you know, of our, of Alpha Battery, man. So it's 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 a proud thing, man. It's 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 a fraternity. It's the, it's one of the best fraternities, pretty much in the world. Yeah. But band of brothers, man. But yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, if I could if I could go back, if I could go back, I would enlist most likely, and depending on how I liked it, I would probably stay. 
I seen some they do the four years and they get out. I know a lot of people who right. did that. They do right. the four years and get out. So right. that would have been an option. But I truly I'm a I'm a firm believer because of where we are, Sean, that what Israel does, it should be instituted here. I j- Brandon, I just had a conversation with the client about that yesterday. Yeah. Because my my landlords here, uh, husband and wife, they both are from Israel and they both served in the military. Mm. My opinion, my opinion. Um, when you when you served in the military, man, you you learn. Uh, you have a rare. Uh, you 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 you're you're going to learn to have a reverence for authority. Yeah, because you kind of have to brighter your tongue, so to speak. You can't talk. You can't do all that all that stuff. Like I said earlier, you can't all that talking. Y'all be doing out the side of y'all neck. Talking about y'all gonna tell people this and tell people that. You can't do that in the military. You going no. up in there thinking that you you, you you Billy Bad? That's not gonna work, man. Because they will break you. And or in order I, to be Billy Bad, in you. there they will break. In you. order to be that, you have to do the work to get there. You got to exactly. earn your stripes. You can be that. You, you have to earn it though. You could be the bat- you. Hey, I, I, I hey my battalion. We going. We go. You could be that guy. You just gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. You got to earn it and you got to you got to earn the respect. Um, but when you first come over there, man, you, you know, me, man, I was like, you know, no, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I was, I, I tried to fight against it, man. And I, uh, my sergeant at the time, Sergeant Anderson, man, that joker took me to the side and had a long talk with me, man. He's, he, he was like, he was, he was, he, I looked at him as a father figure. We friends to this day on Facebook, man. I looked at him as a father figure. He took me to his house. You know, uh, introduced me his wife. His wife was uh, she was she was um, she. I want to say she was great, just just the sweetest hospitality and everything. And I saw a different side of him, man. And then him showing me that different side of him outside of uniform made me have. Uh, I, I always had a reverence of respect, man. He was just kind of he was one of those dudes that I looked like as a father that I knew. Like I, I, I tell women all the time, even men, certain men know. Even certain men don't try certain men. Like that junk I was talking about my mouth with him, when he spoke to me, I was like, I knew it was something in my head and in my heart. I was like, this is the dude you do not want to try. It's just the way he looked at you, it's the way he said, it's the way he set the tone. And he mm-hmm. said it never in a disrespectful way, but the way he would talk to me is like, boy, you listen here, young buck, you try me if you want to. I'm going to yeah. break you off something fierce. He didn't say it in those words, but it's just the way he led the conversation and the way yeah. he looked at me. And then he's older. That could be my father at that time. But the way he talked to me, there ain't no way I listened to everything that he said. I'm, 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 I'm young. You, you know, you know, when you're young, you ain't feeling yourself. Nobody can tell you nothing in your 20s. You yeah. think you all listen, all that. But B, I listened to him. And then when I saw a different side, when he invited me to his home for dinner, man, our the dynamics of our relationship changed, man. Yeah. He was always the guy I was going to, talking to, whatever, whatever. He just put me, you know, he just put me on the right path, man. Because I, I was, I, I, I he said, he's like, Sean, you can have a, you, you a good soldier, man. You squared away. You can have a promising career, man. You gotta yeah. change that attitude, young blood. You gotta yeah. change it. Yeah. You know. I did not want nobody telling me what to do. After I left my mom's house, after having women tell me nothing but a house of women, everywhere I go is a woman telling me to do, woman telling me to do, woman telling me to do. When I became grown mm-hmm. and when I left the house, first thing I said at 18, not a damn woman going to tell me what to do no more. Women don't yeah. even want to understand that now to have that conversation. They don't understand when women been telling you what to do. Oh, you ain't got a penis in the house to tell you nothing. The last yep. thing you want to hear is somebody with a vagina trying to tell you what to do. And yeah. I meant that. I meant that. I, 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 I've struggled with that for years. You know, I'm okay. Well, I think I got some balance. I can I can listen to what a female says. I can listen to a voice and respect it. I'm like, you know mm-hmm. what? You're right. But yeah. at that time, it was no damn woman telling me nothing. <laughs> and and then as a, as a man, you figured out what all men figure out at some point as we get older and we grow that there's a low level threat of violence in every interaction with a man that you come across. 
whether right. you think you could beat the man or you can't, that right. threat of violence, there's a low level, but it's always there. Because at any time, this dude, we hey, he could go feral and you got to defend yourself. Right. Right. Yeah. And so we understand that. Yeah, but I respect that. And men, men understand that. Why women? I don't understand why women don't. Women really no. think that they can whoop some men's ass the way they be trying to approach it. All because, Brandon, we said it, me and both, because they know you cannot hit them back. And if you do, you're going up under the jail. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why you why got... They, that, um, that's why they try you. That's why they try you. Not because they can win. They know tiny you can women, nothing. Tiny women talking crazy to power forwards. I'm like, man, he can dunk you and your whole family in, 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 like a, a, a tomahawk. Ma'am, mm -hmm. are, are you serious? Dude, why are you talking crazy to a man that is trained to stiff on people in the clutch? I, I don't understand. They do it all yeah. the time, bro. Because they know understand. they can get away with it, B. They know they can get away with it. Yeah. You know, and they know yeah. if you hit, if you put your hands on them. And that's why, that's why they be provoking men. That's yeah. why they be provoking men. And you be like, man. And you just be like, <laughs> what you going to do, B? <laughs> yeah. like, what you gonna do? If I choke her ass out, I'm going to jail. If I give her yeah. a red hand across the throat and she's sipping from a straw for the rest of her life, I'm going to jail. Going to if jail. I break one of her legs, mm -hmm. if I put her in a figure four, so if I do anything to this woman, if I blow on her wrong, they carry yeah. my black ass to jail. Shoot, and she if, knows if, if she say I did something, oh my god, oh I'm my in god. trouble. I don't even have to, I don't even have to do it no more. She could just say it. She could make an allegation now. Matter of fact, uh, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a video on it too. It's two videos I'm, I'm definitely gotta do. It's a rapper, his name Duty Low. Crazy name, but you know, we get used to it by now. But a young lady said that he basically molested her son by putting like screws in um in his uh posterior and like touching him and stuff like that, right? So he denied everything, he took a lot of that lie detector test. And he was um, he was cleared because he passed it. And she admitted after he cleared the lie detector test that, you know, she basically forced the kid to say it and it was a lie. Tell me why she just got arrested the other day, Sean, for stalking him. Come on, B. She tried to ruin this man. And he from Chicago. St the, the, the thing about you saying that a man did something to a woman or children, you're pretty much putting that man's life on the line. Because this men out there who like, oh, you like women and children. Well, let me let me let me come talk to you for a second, Playboy. It's men who they don't stand for stuff like that. So this man in Chicago, and he had these allegations against them. Dude's being uh, shot for less in Chicago, Sean. So this man mm -hmm. could have lost his life, and now she's stalking him and got arrested. Hmm. Hmm. We, we in clown world, dog. Dude, I, 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 you know, <laughs> I don't, you know, what be, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say about that. I really don't. It, I don't understand. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. That's where we at. That's where we at, Sean. That's where we at. You tried to ruin his life. Now you're stalking him. <laughs> yeah. To all my fathers. To all y'all, man, you're more than enough. You do matter. Whatever you do, don't give up on your kids, man. Don't give up on your place. Every time you get that opportunity to be with your child, just bask in the moment. Enjoy each second of it, you know, because the, the kids grow fast, man. You know, uh, um, we don't get... The, the, we don't we, we'll never get the credit that we deserve as fathers we'll never get the recognition mm -hmm. at all and it's not it's not about that um we know it's not about us and no one thinks about us and we at the point where okay whatever we, we know what it is but don't allow society or a simple woman or simple ex that you got a kid with don't let that change. And I know I know it's a hard pill to swaddle, fellas. Don't let that stop the dynamics of the relationship you have with your kid, man. You know, you have your rights as a father. And I, I, I know we got a lot against us. Even the judicial system is against us, even when we yeah. doing the damn right thing. Um, 
there's no even no justice in when it comes to fathers. It's all about more. They can take it back to child support. I mean, go back to court and get more money. I mean, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just, uh, uh, I don't know how a lot of women sleep at night uh, trying to hurt the father of their kid. And especially if that child loves that kid and want to be with the, wants to see their father and things of that nature, and they play games. You got people who fly to see their kids and from a different state and then they won't even let them see the child. Have that person yep. and book the hotel and plane ticket and stuff. It's men go through so much with their kids and they shouldn't have to go through. And then now Tina knows she she is she like advocating for the black father or yes or, all the, and, the, and she, the documentary is to debunk um the image that we have. So all the the well, the, uh, the jail statistics, the deadbeat father narrative, the gangbanger stuff, she's there to debunk it. Uh, one of the ones um, things she talked about is the issues she's had with people talking about Jay Z and basically defaming him and the way they treated him. Yeah, see mm-hmm. the stereotypes and types. Um, she says shocked by older uh, white woman grilling her on Beyonce marrying a gangster rapper Jay Z. She said, I remember thinking I can't be mad at her because this is what the media portrays. And so she is, she's like, well, since the media portrayed him that way, we got to change the narrative. And um, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Oprah may be helping her on this, which that, that's a whole nother topic because, you know, if we're going to really be honest about it, Oprah has contributed to the image that we have and not the positive image. She's contributed to the negative image of black men. And she knows that. So she's she's trying to do some uh, probably do a little heel turn now, and um um do something different. But she's been a part of it. It was a part of her show. I watched it growing up when Oprah was on. I, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch nothing else. I had to watch Oprah too. So I saw it. I saw the way they portrayed us in the media for years, for a very long time. This is long overdue, and one docu series is not going to get it. Mm-mm. We need more. We need, we need a gazillion docu series, and. Is let me ask you this, B. Is Tina Knowles getting backlash? Uh, is there any blowback on her for standing up for black fathers? Yes. Is she getting anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They um trying to get it uh get it shut down. And it, it's uh, who knows how many it is, but I've uh, seen from the thing they had six thousand signatures already. Yeah. B, what does that what does that tell you about the father? What does that tell you? Uh, what is that? But what is that? What what did, what 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 message does that send about the importance of the father? That we're not needed. That we're not needed. We're expendable, superfluous. Mm. If you got a father, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. We could take care of it on our own. We could do it on our own. Miss independent and all of that. That mindset has destroyed the community. Hmm. And it hasn't worked. The stats on single, what when kids come out of single mother homes and the stats, it it tells the truth. Especially, especially, let's let's not even go into um uh um self-deletion, um uh, uh more likely to go to jail, uh more likely to drop out of school. Let, let, kill all of that. The stat that should bother you the most. Is what happened, what the abuse the kids face from the non-biological parent in the house. Mm. The numbers on that, Sean, is insane. Mm. Mm. And mm. people always want to talk about these blended families and stepmom and stepdad. Man, listen. Keep them folk mm. away from your children. Because that's not their children. They have no loyalty or allegiance to those children. Hmm. You know, man, that further lets me know that the conversation that me and my brother had yesterday, it's real, man. It's real. They're pretty much trying to erase the man if they possibly could. Yeah. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, has feminism gotten that great to the point that they think that is humanly possible. Right. 
They turned hey, it now. They, huh? war, war's on the doorstep. So now that are you, you it's getting quieter and quieter. Day by day, you're hearing less and less of that. That feminism stuff, I can do bad all by myself. Don't need no man. Mm -mm. Now they like, hey, I, I put me in the kitchen. I'm not going to war. That's the chant now, Sean. They ain't trying to be boss babes no more. Mm -mm. Because uh, boss babe, go ahead and go over there uh, to Ukraine and help out. Mm. But you're not going to do that. And we're yeah. not going to allow you to do that. Because yep. men, yep. men are the disposable sex. If all the men mm. in the U.S. right now went to fight in war, and we majority of us died. You only gonna need a few men to repopulate the U.S. That's mm. it. We're the disposable sex. Mm. Wow, bro. I, I, man, you know, and 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 and, and as a man, man, you like, <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, is 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 anybody gonna fight for us besides us? Right. And the women, and the women, and the and the real women, the real women, who do stand up and fight and and speak up for the man because they they literally love that man, they get the blowback. I don't understand it. Yeah. I I that it is something that I don't understand. So this world is completely supposed to be for women. Yeah. Mm. So now more than ever, gentlemen, is you prioritizing yourself and standing on your square and not bending to the will of others, especially with something you don't want to do, <laughs> is so important today. Because yeah. nobody's, you, you already seen it, we told you, and you see it yourself. They're not prioritizing you. You have to prioritize you. Yeah, you have to. And fellas, if you're not thinking about yourself, man, um, nobody else is. Yeah. And that's the sad part. You have to start thinking about what's best for you. Yeah. You know, you as as a father, you do what you're supposed to do for that child. And you have to kind of like ignore the noise or anything outside of that. Yep. Because just like that child needs that mother, that child needs that father just the same or probably even more. The father is a pivotal role in a child's life and especially in a young lady's life, a, a girl's life that's going to grow up to be a young woman one day. Yeah. How she interacts with men mm -hmm. is always going to be based off the relationship she had with her father. Yep. Some women are very promiscuous from man to man because of the lack of attention they did get from their father. Yep. There's so many disconnections on relationships, uh, boys growing up to be men and women growing up, I mean, girls growing up to be women. And everything always goes back to when they were kids and the relationships they had with their mother or their father. It always stems from something else. Yeah. So if you are a father and you love your kids, just like my boy B say, you stand on that, that square and you do not be, you, you, you fight to not be removed. Yeah. Now, I'm not condoning or am I vouching or I am saying that for the men who tried and they constantly get, kept running into a brick wall and they got tired of trying, a lot of men, and, and, and people are not going to like this, a lot of men quit and gave up because they just got tired of dealing with that uh, yeah. unreasonable mother. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to talk about women being unreasonable when it comes to the dynamics of the father just trying to have a relationship with their kid and they just trying to make it, they're, they're making it difficult on purpose. Yep. Nobody wants to talk about that. And, 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 and it's okay. We're used, we're, we as men are used to um, y'all not having our backs when it comes to being fathers and, you know, men going through things. A man can have some mental anguish going on. A father can have some mental anguish going on and he can voice yeah. it. Uh, y'all, y'all gonna make memes and joke about it. Yep. 
and and that's not cool so a man has no go-to not even with that person who's supposed to be the mother of his child she don't give a damn about how he feels she don't give a damn about what he's going through she 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 really don't care she has no concern as long as he's doing what he's supposed to be doing here and that that's all she cares about yeah remember they because, tore Tyrese to shreds remember that oh man man I, I remember that I was not laughing at that shit at all he just wanted to see his baby girl tore him to shreds dude that loved his father and if he was a deadbeat they'd be talking so much shit about him but they sitting up there making jokes about how you sit up there and make a joke about a man's mental state but then you want men to empathize and sympathize with your mental state why yes. do you think that it's always one-sided about your emotional shit when we got emotional shit that we go through too who thinks i mean y'all think y'all are gods walking around here really and that's why your asses never get nothing good. That's why no man ain't going to stay with you. No man, you can't keep a man, can't get one because of your mindset. I posted something on TikTok. I say, fuck how she looks. How is that damn mindset, though? Because her mindset is going to show me how she going to treat and talk to me on a daily, monthly, weekly, yearly basis. If her mindset is trash, brother, get the hell away from that chick. Because yep. she's going to treat you like shit. Listen, and then when pressure is applied, what she going through, she that pressure busts a pipe like the old people used to say. When she's applied mm -hmm. with pressure, it's also going to show how she treats you when she's under pressure. Yep. You want to see how she going to treat you, man? Check her mindset. Fuck what come out of mouth. Check her mindset, bro. Mm-hmm. See, you, you can't get caught up into how these women look, man. Yeah. Because if her mindset ain't right, bro, you're going to go through hell. I can tell you this right now. On my mama and my kids, you're going to go through hell if that woman's mindset is garbage. Yeah. They say you'll find out who that person is when you put stress on the relationship. And, you know, there's various ways stress is put on the relationship. But one of the ways you could put yourself in a stressful environment to see how that person react. And I was shocked when I seen it, Sean, going to vacation with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Sean. They talked, they said that mm. vacation, that, that time is very stressful. It is. If you vacation by yourself, it's different, it's one thing. But right. when you different, when you with somebody else, or maybe like a group, think about it. When you've been with somebody else or a group, you got those differences of opinions. Let's go here, let's go there. You know, whether mm. uh, hey, you on the flight, you lost your luggage. We gotta mm -hmm. scramble for this. We gotta get that. Somebody got sick. Stress it. That that's when it gets really stressful. Vacations can become really stressful, especially when things are kind of not quite not mm. right. And then the real person is gonna come out when that stress hits. Mm. Ain't gonna be able to hide it. Because how do you operate under stress? Because let's be let's let's face it, Sean. Those situations are gonna come up in relationships. Fairly often. It's not going to be peaches and rainbows. You're going to have issues. How's that mm. person going to operate when you guys have issues? Wow. Bro, I would have never. I would never guess it either. I was like, man. say vacation? Man. But yeah. Wow. Dude, I would have, B, I'm telling you, man, I would have never thought about that. I would have never thought about that in a million years, B. In yep. a million years, I can't believe. Wow, a vacation! Vacation. Well, damn, a vacation. Yep, <laughs> unbelievable, bro. Un freaking believable. Oh man, B, any final thoughts? What's your final thoughts? Final thoughts. Well, men. Um, to the fathers out there who are trying, giving their all, doing their best, you know, don't give up, especially for your children. They need you. Point blank period. They need you. And to those guys who, the, the ones who complain and haven't done everything they needed to do, didn't exhaust everything, I don't want to hear your complaints. Especially if you didn't do everything that you can, that you could do. Whether it was taking her to court filing certain paperwork because I, I know i know guys like that sean they complain baby mama this she that and they're not doing everything that they need to do you know so dude 
when it comes to your children, those are your children. Nobody's going to take care of your children like you because they're not anybody else's. They're yours. Never mm. forget that. Being mm. a man standing on a square and giving those giving, giving those kids something to the uh, what they see, because it's rare that kids do what you tell them to do. What do they do? They do what they see you do. And you want right. them to see you, especially in your element. Giselle seeing you in your element on a daily basis, Sean, I'm sure it's going to do wonders for her because she's seeing you in your element, you being a man, you being a protector and a provider. Kids need to see that. I needed to see my dad around the house fixing stuff. Hey, Brandon, come over here and help me with this. I needed that. And I didn't get that. Wow. So be there for them, man. That's all I got. Yeah. You, 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 you have to be. Um, as uh, to all my fathers, man, I'm speaking to you. I mean, this, this was pretty much primarily about you guys, man. My final thought as a father, you love your kids. You're doing the best you can because at the end of the day, that's all you can do. And stay active in their life, man. No matter, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult uh, or immature that female is with the games and you know using the kid as a pawn and just you know just want to be in your pockets. My final thought is keep going, even when it's hard. Keep going, because at the end of the day. That that child that grows up, that child that grows up, when they become 15 and 16, see, I, there's a lot of things that my son is 15 years old, I didn't think he saw. Mm -hmm. Now at 15 years old, we have conversations about the things that he saw when he was little. <sighs> that kid remembers everything. I'm, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, fellas, I'm telling you, I didn't think... It was real, but he blows my mind every day in the conversation. Whether it's me working out, now he's all into exercising and working out. He'll FaceTime me from the gym, Dad, I'm doing this. Dad, am I doing this right? He's watched everything I have done. Yes. He told me several times, but he told me just a couple of weeks ago, you know, Dad, you work hard. I've all my life I've known one thing I know that you work hard. Yeah. You have always been there for me, near or far. You didn't yeah. allow nothing. You never gave an excuse. You are the best father that I know or have ever seen. Even from other fathers that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Thank you for just being my dad. Now he's told me that before, but it's just the way he says it differently every single time. This kid has watched everything. I mean, the ins and outs when I didn't think, I'm like, how does this guy remember stuff when I can remember, barely remember what I put my keys at five minutes ago. This guy remembers everything. So fellas, don't let the work that you putting in with your kid the consistency that you put in with your kid, the conversations, everything, every, all the BS you got to put up from that immature woman who's still mad of whatever shit that went wrong 10, 15, 12, five, three years ago, whatever, that you, yeah. you, you, you didn't, you didn't got over, but she's still treating you a certain way because of what you do. Because majority of women keep a goddamn tally, a book of tallies of mistakes of everything you want. You done wrong, and they can go back to 1920 at 2 12 p.m. and tell you exactly what you was wearing when you messed up. When yep. we we ain't even built like that. Don't allow her and how she how she is as an immature female mess up the relationship that you got with your kids. That due diligence, that consistency, that yep. little girl that's gonna grow up to be a woman. She's going to remember as she gets older and she's going to tell you, thank you, that son, as he mm -hmm. gets older, he's going to tell you and thank you. When my son talk about how good a father I am and I don't think I'm Mr. Perfect and I didn't have no rule book and for me to not have a father, to not even know what it's like to, 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 to even have a conversation with a dad or or, or or go to the beach with a dad or, or just 
uh, just go to the movies with or just have dinner with. I never had nothing with a father for me to be, to have the relationship with my son, like the one I wish I had with a father, I think I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. And for my son to tell me, you are the best dad, when there's no, there's no dad books, I didn't even have a guideline of what a real father was supposed to do, be the duties. And I've seen other good fathers, but I didn't, I, I didn't have no idea yeah. like what kind of father I'm going to be when I ain't have no damn father myself. I mean, you grow up thinking those things. How am I going to be a father when I don't even know what a father looks like? I never had that. So I'm yeah. going off of the things my mom told me, what she considers a good father. And my mom used to talk about my granddad. She said he was a good father. He was a good father. So you just stumbling. Me and my brother, we're doing, going through trial and error you know, trying to raise ourselves to understand what it's like to be a man. And for my son to tell me, you are the best father. I'm so glad that you're my dad. I think I'm getting some things right. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't allow your efforts and the work that you're putting into your child to seem like it's just in vain because they are watching. And one day he or she is going to thank you for being in their life because you don't have to. Some dudes give up. Some dudes throw in the towel. Some dudes quit because yep. that woman is just hard to deal with. And I get it. I'm not condoning it. But fellas, I understand how you would rather just relocate and go somewhere far away so you ain't got to deal with her, her BS because she's yep. just petty and immature. Don't quit. Keep going even when it's hard and when it's hard keep going again that's my final thought so b how can the people contact you man how can they contact you and see you on social media bro brandon lampley on all social media platforms youtube instagram twitter just find me um i did tell my mother you know i don't have any children of my own i'm not a father yet um you know maybe one day i don't know i'm not making no promises to anybody so that's family included anybody see this I ain't making no promises, but I did tell my mother because she was like, I'm going to start, start charging you for doing your hair. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I was a father figure to two of your children. I said, we even. I say, so all of that, I carried you for nine months and I'm your mom and I sacrificed and I was on my feet <laughs> and I did all these things for Brandon and all of this. That's over with, baby. You can't hold that over my head no more because I helped take care of two of your children. Boy, boy, I wish I was in that room. Boy, I'd get, I, boy, I'd have gave my arm just to see the look that she had on your face. Tell face. Wait a minute, hey, here she, you know how she do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> I can see, boy, I can see a clear state saying that right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a go-to. Wait a wait a minute now. <laughs> wait a minute now. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> mm. I know, I know she gave you something. She sure ain't sit there and just take it now. Yeah, right. I, hey, light skin right. ain't sit there and just take that talk, man. She yes. gonna give you something back. <laughs> yeah. I but it's, it right all it. it. it's all love. It's all love. It's all love at the end of the day, man. It's yeah. all love. Listen, man, we went over a little bit longer. But I think it was it, it was needed. It was, it needed. was worth it. It was needed. Um, yeah. Men, we got to uplift each other, man, because they don't they people we they don't care about us. So we have it's our job as men yeah. to uplift each other with the uplifting yes. that we don't get on a daily basis. Women you do know, it to each other, man. We got to do it that, for us. That's right. We have to uplift each other, man. So we're gonna become a band of brothers when it comes to our issues and stuff because they they not uplifting us. Yeah. How many times do you have a you you go you 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 you, you how many times a woman just call you up and be like you know what just thank you for how you love me how you treat me thank you for trying I see you trying thank you for trying to be better I appreciate you how many times do you hear that you probably never hear that shit on a weekly basis so brothers we have to band up together right. and we have to thank and appreciate each other man because yes, nobody do. out here appreciate us and no one can argue that point they can't even refute it or rebuttal it because it's just simple truth not yep. even the world gives a damn about the man the dad the father they show us right. every day 
they tried to eliminate us like they don't need us. Yep. Look at it. Look at the current events in the state of our country when it comes to the narrative of men. And if you don't know, just sit back and there, just let that marinate on your mind and, and keep watching and listening yep. and how the world treat us and, and things of that nature. They, they're, I'm telling you, they trying to, they trying to get rid of us. Yep. That's just, that's that just simple? true talk. Somebody going to say something and somebody going to be like, oh, I don't agree. Well, you know what? You got a vagina. Of course, you're not going to agree. So we, we really don't care because y'all don't care about us. Yeah. Because if you did, your attitudes and your concern and your thoughtfulness and and just check it. If not, 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 I'm talking about normally, consistently. Yeah. But we got to be everything to y'all. Y'all could barely be one thing to us. Damn. All right. So that's all I got. That's it. Boy, I had to leave it like that. Boom. There you go. Yeah, so, hey, listen, like we'll catch that. you on the fl- we- <laughs> It's like that, baby. It's just the truth. And mm-hmm. if you want to talk about it, just DM me. We could, you know, I ain't going to probably go back and forth with you. I'm like, I'm, I'm my response is like, you're entitled to your opinion. Or yeah. you can end my conversation and be like, you know what, Sean? I'm doing, I'm concerned about my man. I'm like, you know what? I commend you, Mrs. Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you should be doing. Yes. I'm glad that you're doing it. Can you help yeah. others do the same that you're doing? Yeah. Speak up for us then, Mrs. Jones. Comment yeah. on what me and Brandon talked about, Mrs. Jones. I mean, if you're for the man, if you love the man, make some positive comments and be like, you know what, Sean, you know what? We need we you're right. As as women, we need to do better. Mm-hmm. But how many women are gonna stand up and do that? Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, and don't dwell on it too long. Let us know what it is, but then get back to that man because you got work to do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, boy, you off the chain, man. Hey, man, thanks for tuning in. Comment. We always going to hit you back with a like. Uh, we going to reply back to you. We, 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 that's what we do. We don't, we don't ignore you. All right. Yeah. Brandon, I catch you on the flip. Catch you like guys on the flip. Peace. Peace.